Okay, so now I'm going to make um, chicken breast with bindi, which is okra. Um, so I've just put some oil in, not too much, letting it heat up. And I've got the frozen bindi here, which is a bag that I brought from the supermarket. Okay, so I've added the frozen bindi. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry it. I'm going to fry it and this is what's going to help to avoid the sliminess that okra has. So I'll fry it until it goes like a golden brown colour and then I'll remove it and put it up into a little bowl. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, I've cooked off the slime now. And now I'm going to transfer this into another dish and put it to one side and then I can start making the chicken. Uh, I've added a little bit of oil um, as it's got a bit of oil before from the okra and this will help me fry the onions now. Okay, so I've got some frozen onions and I'm going to add about three quarters of this packet into the hot oil. I say this is about three onions. So if you're going to cut this normal onion, it's about three onions. Okay, so now I'm going to let them fry for a few minutes um, until they go like a dark, not a medium brown colour. So we're just going to fry in the oil for a few minutes now until they're brown. Okay, so this is what it looks like after a few minutes. It's, it's frying. I want to fry it a bit longer so it's a bit more golden brown. Um, and because I like green chilies, I'm going to add three green chilies. I have split them, as you can see, and I'm just going to put that in as well. And then put the lid back on and let it cook for a bit longer. Okay, so this has been frying now for a few minutes. It's not as brown as I'd like it to be at the moment. But I am going to add now two cubes of ginger and garlic. I'm going to let that melt. And just put the lid back on. Okay, so I have chopped two tomatoes which I'm going to put in there as well. I'm going to put it back on and wait for them to melt as well. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like now. That's what it looks like now at the moment. Okay, now what I'm going to do is add some of the sand and about after that I like my food spicy so I'm going to add one tablespoon right in here. Mm. maybe just a little bit more and I've got some Cumin seeds, just a few of those. Okay. And give that a mix. Okay. I'm also going to add a handful of suri miki, which I need to grind with my hands. Just a handful, it's optional. So about that much. I'm just going to grind that with my hand and then put it in. Okay, there we are. You can add salt to this as well, um, about one or two teaspoons. But as I've mentioned before, if you watch my previous um, recipes. I don't really like adding salt 
I've got, um, only because I just feel there's already salt in the spices, but that's just my preference. Okay, so now I'm going to add just a little bit of boiled kettle water, just that bit. And then just let it cook. It's still on a medium heat. So I'm just going to let it cook now until the oil separates. I'm going to put the lid back on now and uh, just leave it for a few more minutes. So I've already here chopped up the chicken. Um, this is about one kilo of chicken. About one kilo of chicken. It's been cut in, uh, chopped up in cubes, which I'll be adding into the masala in a bit. Okay, this is what it looks like now. After lid's on been for a bit, for a few minutes, sorry. lid's been on for a few minutes now. As you can see, tomatoes are melted, the green chilies melted the oils come to the top and now I'm going to add the chicken and then give it a mix it's still on medium heat I'm going to leave it on medium heat for um, I'm going to say about 10 minutes and then check it again. I'm just going to make sure it's the chicken pieces are all coated in the masala that I've made. So yeah, I'm going to leave this now for 10 minutes, put a timer on for 10 minutes and come back in 10 minutes and see how it's doing. Okay, so it has been cooking for about 10 minutes now, as you can see, the chicken has released quite a lot of water, which is good, that means it will cook in that. Um, and now I'm going to turn the heat down to sort of a medium heat, I think it was on a high before, so a medium heat for about another 10 minutes. Okay, so this has now been cooking for another 10 minutes. That's 20 minutes in total. Um, and this is what it looks like now. You can see the water has, well, nearly dried up. Now I'm just going to check the chicken. So, yeah, it's gone soft. So that's about, that's been about 20 minutes cooking. So, okay. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of water to this now um, and then add the fried okra that I did at the start. Okay, so here's the okra that I fried at the start, which now I'm going to add it into the chicken. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I've put the okra in the chicken. I'm going to leave that now for about 5-10 minutes, then add a little bit of water afterwards. So it makes a little bit of sauce. Okay, so I've added a little bit of water, only about half a glass of water. Um, I've added one teaspoon, sorry, two tablespoons, two teaspoons of garam masala. Um, and now it's on a very, very low heat. And I'm just going to let it cook now for about five minutes, five, ten minutes or so. And um, that'll be it. Um, and also added a handful of, um, had frozen coriander in there as well. And that's it. Just cooking very, very slowly now. It smells lovely. And um, I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, and this is the end product. Let me know how you get on. Enjoy!